Many of you may know that Trump's former attorney, Michael Cohen, is due to testify on Trump today. Now, he has dropped some information prior to the hearing, calling Trump a racist, saying that he is committing crimes in the Oval Office, dropping the N-word, and he's a cheat. Well, Michael Cohen, you knew all of that about Trump and you still stayed and worked for him for many, many years. So <laughs> what does that say about you? You know, it's always amazing how people like Michael Cohen have nothing to say until they get in trouble with the law or he got debarred, you know, from practicing law. See, as soon as he stood to lose something, now he want to snitch and run his mouth about everything, y'all. You know, <laughs> how typical. Michael Cohen's opening statement, Donald Trump is a racist, a con man, a cheat, and knew about DNC email leaks. Well, I'm going to be listening in on the hearing today, you know, just to find out what he's going to say and all. But, you know, Trump is out of the country right now. He's in Vietnam. So I, I don't think it's a coincidence that this is happening while Trump left the country, but you know he's going to go ballistic on Twitter. So expect a Twitter storm from Trump once he gets wind of everything that Michael Cohen said. All right. So this came out on ABC News. Uh, Michael Cohen, Trump's former personal attorney and fixer, intend to tell the House Oversight Committee today that Trump is a racist con man and a cheat. Cohen, according to a copy of his intended remarks obtained by ABC News, also plans to divulge that Trump as a candidate knew Roger Stone was talking with Julian Assange of WikiLeaks, revealing of emails from the DNC committee. Um, the comments obtained by ABC and media outlets, including the New York Times, could very well change during today's testimony. Let me just go back up here. Um, let me see if I can play this video, y'all. Before, why should Congress trust you now, Mr. Cohen? Telling reporters he's ready to come clean. I really appreciate the opportunity that was given to me to clear the record and to tell the truth. The first of three hearings, which includes a highly anticipated testimony that will take place in front of the House Oversight Committee today. Sources tell ABC News there Cohen will publicly describe the president's, quote, lying, racism and cheating. According to The New York Times, Cohen will begin with a scathing opening statement, alleging that as a presidential candidate, Trump knew that Roger Stone was talking with Julian Assange about WikiLeaks plans to release hacked emails from the Clinton campaign. Stone, an advisor to Trump during the campaign, has denied the conversations with Assange took place and was recently indicted for making false statements to Congress. No, no, no. Cohen, who pleaded guilty to lying to Congress and violating campaign finance laws, is expected to provide reimbursement checks signed by Trump for hush money payments to adult star Stormy Daniels, which President Trump initially claimed he knew nothing about. And for the first time, the president's former right-hand man will accuse him of criminal conduct while in the White House. Ahead of his testimony, Trump ally Representative Matt Gates tweeting out a seemingly threatening message to Cohen, saying, quote, do your wife and father-in-law know about your girlfriends? Maybe tonight would be a good time for that chat. I wonder if she'll remain faithful when you're in prison. She's about to learn a lot. We're witness testing, not witness tampering. Gates later backtracking and tweeting, it was not my intent to threaten, I'm sorry. And Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders had some choice words for Cohen, calling him a disgraced felon and a liar and saying it is, quote, pathetic to see him given another chance to spread his lies. Again, that highly anticipated hearing, only day two supposed to take place today. And Mona, we're learning this morning that Cohen is also expected to discuss phone calls President Trump directed him to make. What more can you tell us about that? 
Well, he's referring to those payments made to uh, adult star Stormy Daniels. Um, if you remember last summer, he uh, said that um, he made those payments directed by President Trump as hush money payments. And so he today is expected to uh, deliver um, checks that um, show that those that President Trump reimbursed him for those payments. And Mona, like the lawyers say, Cohen allegedly has documents to back up those claims. Mona, thank you so much. Okay, y'all. All right. You know, it, it's not shocking. You know, people, there's a lot of lawyers like Michael Cohen and they represent scumbags and their job is to get them out of everything they get into. And, and that's really what it's all about. So I am ashamed of my failings and I publicly accept responsibility for them by pleading guilty in the Southern District of New York, Cohen writes in his attendant remarks. I am ashamed of my weakness and misplaced loyalty of the findings I did for Mr. Trump in an effort to protect and promote him. You know, it's all about money. See, as long as the money is flowing, people like Michael Cohen will protect people like Trump. That's how it is, y'all. This is the world we live in. I am ashamed and I chose to take part in concealing Mr. Trump's illicit acts rather than listening to my own conscience. I am ashamed because I know what Trump is. He is a racist. He is a con man. He is a cheat. According to a copy of Cohen's prepared remarks, he'll be presenting evidence, including a copy of a check Trump allegedly wrote after taking office to reimburse Cohen for hush money paid to an adult film star. Copies of letters written by Cohen threatening Trump's high school, college, and the college board not to release his grades or SAT scores. They must be bad, y'all. They must be bad. Because if your grades and your SAT scores are good, you would be proud to show that to anybody. But the fact that Trump has concealed his grades and his SAT scores, it's bad, y'all. Trust me on this one. I know what I'm talking about. It's bad. You don't seal those kind of things if it wasn't bad. And copies of financial statements from 2011 to 2013. And my personal opinion, I said this before, he is concealing that stuff because Trump ain't as rich as he claims. I don't believe Trump is a billionaire. I don't believe Trump has the money that he claims he has. And the fact that he sets up foundations and he's drug into court and got to shut down the foundations and he's using that money like a personal checkbook when it's, it's supposed to go to charity, that says it all. You don't do stuff like that unless you don't have the wealth that you claim. Not to mention Trump University and a whole host of other businesses. You can pull up a lot of those court cases. Trump has been sued many times and a lot of it is over his business dealings or scamming people out of money. He got a long history of scamming people out of money. You don't do that if you're loaded. Cohen plans to show an image of a March 2017 check, which you guys can see right here, obtained by ABC News. He claims was signed by Donald Trump Jr. and a Trump Organization CFO, Alan Weaselberg, on the Elder Trump's trust account in his house testimony, sources close to Cohen say. So here's a check that he got, and it's dated March 17th, 2017, for $35,000 to Michael Cohen. Wow. Questions have been raised about whether I know of direct evidence that Trump or his campaign colluded with Russia. I do not. I want to be clear, Cohen prepared remarks state, but I have my suspicions. 
Cohen's statement also include an apology to lawmakers. I want to apologize to each of you and to Congress as a whole. The intended remark stated, the last time I appear before Congress, I came to protect Trump. Today, I am here to tell the truth about Trump. I lied to Congress about when Trump stopped negotiating the Moscow Tower project in Russia. I stated that we stopped negotiating in January 2016. That was false. Our negotiations continued for months later during the campaign. Cohen's statement goes on to say Trump did not directly tell me to lie to Congress. That's not how he operates. In conversations we had during the campaign, at the same time, I was actively negotiating in Russia for him. He would look me in the eye and tell me there's no business in Russia and then go out and lie to the American people by saying the same thing. In his way, he was telling me to lie. All right, well, I, you know what? I, I, I think people that don't believe that Trump had anything to do with Russia, you choose to believe that. I really believe he did, and I believe he was heavily involved, and I believe his children especially Donald Jr. was also involved in that whole thing. You know, um, let's go on. I mean, you can give your opinion in the comment section. At least a half dozen times between January 2016 and the end of June, Cohen remarks, state Trump asked Cohen about the project in Moscow. Now, if you weren't colluding with Russia and you had nothing to do with the Russians and blah, 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 why is all of this always coming up? It's always coming up. It's always coming up. So I'm going to be watching the hearings, ladies and gentlemen, and probably later on I'll do a commentary on it. Um, Trump sent out this tweet because you know he's not going to be silent about nothing. It, this came out February 27th, 2019 because he's over in Vietnam at 4.08 a.m. Michael Cohen was one of many lawyers who represented me. Unfortunately, he had other clients also. He was just disbarred by the state Supreme Court for lying and fraud. He did bad things unrelated to Trump. He is lying in order to reduce his prison time using crooked lawyer. Well, that doesn't reflect good on you. And Trump, why is everybody around you a snitch? <laughs> That's a good thing that LVZ brought up. And it is the truth. It, it seems like since Trump been in office, there's been nothing but snitching on him. All kinds of snitching from multiple people. It's not, <laughs> it's not one person. It's multiple damn people snitching on this man. It just goes to show you, Trump is a very bad judge of character. And so are the people that go around him to work for him as lawyers. You're all a bad <laughs> judge of character. That's why you get caught up in these situations the way that you do. So. I will leave the link to this article and I'll also leave the link to the hearing that's probably going to be on all of the news outlet, but I got one for C-SPAN and I will um, post that one for anybody that wants to listen in on the hearings. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.